Hey there team, welcome back to the channel and welcome to The Surge. Oh, this is a great game, it's cool to be going back to this. 2017 apparently this came out. So this is a, a Souls-like, a part of the early sort of first wave of Souls-likes coming through. Um, what was it, Lords of the Fallen was a sort of medieval one at the time. And uh, this is a, a sci-fi future, you're in like a power suit, sort of like Elysium or something like that. Um, currently it's on Deep Sail, as is its sequel. Sequel's awesome as well, but you know, this seems like a good place to start. So yeah, go and check it out if you find this interesting. You can pick it up for a couple of bucks right now. So I thought this was a great opportunity for us to have a look at what is, you know, something that's near and dear to my heart. So it's, a, it's a great game. It's a cool setup. So let's go, I don't know, we'll, we'll jump into this save slot and uh, we'll get into it. So it's very Souls-like. Um, the ancient Greeks once said, Belton dudes with laser swords and great. that sort of crap. Yes, correct. We tend to forget about this, tend to be careless, but we have to rise to the task together. Good. It's up to yes. All of us to sow those seeds, and it's up to us to nurture them towards growth. Creo is not just another company. Oh, it's not just another company. We are building the path to the future. Oh, cool. Follow us into a new era. This isn't ominous at all. For all mankind. With every launch, we're healing our planet, restoring its natural shape. God, why would you put a base in fucking Darwin? We remember where our children can once more. This is the worst place in Australia. Is not well, not the worst, right but it's just Australia. You know, you'd put it in Sydney or Melbourne, we right? Dreamed of it, and now Creo is making it a reality. Together, we're strong. Oh yeah. Together, we can make a change. Yeah, good. Unleash Sell me more. With us. Yes, press it. Yeah, join us. Join us. Focus home. I guess they're focus entertainment these days. Yeah, so Dick 13, uh, I haven't followed it too closely, but they seem to have, I think they have like a sort of an indie Welcome. subsection of Dick 13 these days as well. You're glad to be here. You see that sometimes, and I'm glad these, to these games that will have success and then they reinvest that money into more indie projects. And I think they've done the same thing here. Everywhere you turn, we're there. Whether oh. you see us or not. Maybe it's time to take a closer look. Creo is one of the world's largest manufacturers of consumer and industrial products, but we're so much Look more. around. And that's why you're here. Thanks, Don Hackett. At Creo, we're always reaching for the Doesn't stars. he look trendy? Oh, shit. Oh. We've always had our eyes on the big picture. That's cool. Third world, valuable minds, and just the education. Oh, and Jesus. And the oh, that's probably like not Project supposed to happen. <laughs> Not only wants to change the world, look inverted the resolve, we aim to save it. Oh fuck no no invert. No divide here. At Creo, we're all in this together. Thanks, advertising man. I get it. As part of the Creo family. Exosuit area. Then dead dead heads up with Dawn. It's so interesting that people can make these fake on the nose. So joke versions of ads and yet there are companies that still do it straight face and then the twist is on on bloody professor x pre haircut now let me play the whole game in this wheelchair and we will be hooking with gas look at these dudes they're cool they've got sunglasses yay Is that this way? Oh, no, my greatest enemy. Stairs. That's it. Speed run any percent. All right, thanks for joining us, team. Does he have anything to say if he goes to the stairs? Ah, oh, no. Okay. What's this shirt? Iron Mouse. Eh. Can I sprint? Oh, come on, man. Step it out. Can I go down the stairs? Wah, blah, 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 blah. Welcome to registration. Cool. Creo believes in the right tool for the right job. Oh me, I'm the right tool. To wield it. They look pretty cool, eh? Hello. 
Hello. Hey, sorry, uh, I'm new around here, so where should I go? Yeah. New, huh? Job registration is over there. Oh, well, there you go. He seems quite reasonable. Dun, 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 dun. Big penis rocket. Very cool. Hang on. I'm over there. Isn't there where you told me to go? Where's job registration? Maybe it's down the other way. Well, I'm already uh, game journalisting the shit out of this intro. Hey, at least I don't have to jump. All right. Please choose from our two currently available positions and form an orderly queue. All right, so you can take the Rhino, which is more heavy duty. Heavy operator motherfucker. M slash F, right? I'm a motherfucker. Oh, hang on. Field technician motherfucker. It sounds a little bit... Little, little bit fucking soy for me. How about we do this one? Yeah, here we go. If you believe the other you option was mountains, yeah. Creo has the job for you. Yeah. Because as a heavy operator, you can literally do that. All right, shut Pure up and take power, my money. Relentless performance. Whoa. Nothing can hold you back. No, yeah, absolutely. Are you ready? Then yes. join us as a heavy operator and save tomorrow today. Brr, let's go. Yes. And the other one is like, do you role play as an elf? If so, go away. So we picked the correct room. We, you know, it was a, a correct door and a wrong door. Program complete. Yep. Patient sedated. Wait, hang on a sec. No, I'm not. I don't feel sedated. Uh oh. Oh yeah, this will give me something to talk to the therapists about. Surely that's going to catch fabric and put it into my bone marrow. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, right. Implanting neural link. Oh, this. Oh, no. No, don't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness. The Surge. Core power defective. Disposal by transport unit. Oh, great. So, without getting into the story too much, it is an after the fall sort of trope that we see in video games, like Bioshock is the example everyone knows, right? So something's gone wrong, obviously. You're probably supposed to be sedated and not dragged off by a fucking bloody R2-D2 looking thing, right? Oh look, my legs are pumping away though. That's pretty cool. Worth it. Worth it. Um, yeah, so everything, everything's gone haywire and ape shit. And uh, it's sort of after the fact. Press B for an injection. Lock on. Light. Heavy. Yes. Yes. DLC activated. Oh, lucky me. I got a little jab. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Hang on, let's do that again. Now, was that just a sprint attack? It was. Okay. Okay, I can do a little hop. Can't do... Oh, uh, okay, this is very old school. Um, like OG Dark Souls. So left click is sprint, and then click again whilst sprinting is jump. Yeah. Cool. Oh man, it still looks good. Feels good. I like the world setting. The rocket yard. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't forget your roots. Okay. What's over here? 
was telling me to go the other way, but I want to go this way. Oh shit! Hang on, maybe that's a bad idea. All right, let's. What's going on with these guns? Hello. Oi! Fuck you! It's my flesh. Oh, this bloke's. He's had enough. Okay. Puss. Pick up. Okay. Press back. And then we're going to plug some doodackies in. Stick it in my head, please. There you go. Displays enemy health gauges. So you, you have to balance your sort of draw on your core. And you've got power consumption down there. But you've also got these slots. And they have marked levels. The uh, core power consumption, that one, three. Yeah. And then you've got impact because I'm big on staggering these sort of games. Okay. Tech scrap. Now, there's also a combo system which is quite inspired. Uh, equip body gear to use lights. Okay. I think we have to go in here. Oh, this is all, it's all coming back to me. Fault detected. Fix it. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Oh, look at this! I got a bloody stick. Med bay. Fault detected. Implants. Rig. Bank scrap. Now, you can bank your scrap, or the more you carry, the bigger multiplier you get, right? So there's a risk reward of just carrying all your shit. And I think that's quite clever. I'm surprised we haven't seen something like that in Dark Souls yet. Um, also, uh, worth mentioning is, um, what was I going to say? Is that I believe there's a timer. So as, as with Dark Souls, when you die, you drop your souls or scrap or whatever. But as soon as you leave the safe zone, it starts a, a ticker and you have X minutes to get it back, which is pretty uh, cool. Like, so it puts you under the pump to regain your souls. So some, there is some clever innovation in this. Yep. It's distress beacon has been triggered. Thank you, yes. You need to get back into the factory. Right, okay. Um, the rig is damaged. The rig seems to work for me. Yeah. Honestly, it's the least of my problems. I mean, I can walk. Yeah, huh. exactly. Never thought I'd be able to say that again. Right? Well, Worth the pain. Yeah, but the power core is damaged. You'll have to find a new one to make your rig fully functional. It's got legs. It knows how to use them. I don't know you. I'm surrounded by dead people here. Maybe someone would like to explain what's going on. Wow, you are very calm about this. You need to get inside. Maybe you can make something to protect yourself. Operations always have a gear thing. Okay, how do I get to the factory? Well, okay. I'll just stroll right on over to the factory then. Sounds good. I certainly don't recommend walking. But there should be a maglev station nearby. They're not oh. far from ops. That sounds... Okay, I think it's a train. Roger, goodbye. On my way. On my way. And here we bloody go. Now, one thing I really love about this is how... Oh my god, what the fuck? I love how shortcut heavy this... This game is. And different Dark Souls games have variable amounts of them, right? But like this one here. I won't be able to get through. Uh, it'll be a lift that needs activating, I think. But this, in this particular game, it's huge on the checkpointing system, if you want to call it that, is making progress enough to create a shortcut back to here sort of thing, right? See, I can't use that, but that will actually cut a huge chunk out of time. And I really like that. It's not quite ro um, Castlevania or Metroidvania-like in the back and forth, but it's sort of like concentric circles, ever-expanding circles. You go further out and then you can loop back around. Fuck you. Target your enemies. Oh, that's right, you can target specific parts. Give me your head. Oh, stop hitting back, please. Yeah, I'm, I'm targeting his head, aren't I? Oh, there we go. I like the gargles. That's good. Yeah. 
and you, you you look at them and you go, oh, I want that gun or knife or I want those legs, and you tactically decapitate them to up the chances of getting the armor. Here you go. Unarmored body parts does more damage, which is the blue and the yellow is armored, right? So, oh, I forgot about this. It's inverted. I think the, this can't be fixed, is that vertical look inverted, vertical targeting synced. It defines when sync moving out, look up. Yeah, let's turn that off. That's better. Yeah, so it, in, it inverts the, the targeting, which is weird. All right, so I want my camera inverted, but up should be up for selecting the dude's fucking noggin. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so some clever stuff. It's a bloke in here. I think. Oh fuck! I want your head. I don't think I'm allowed to hurt armor yet, because we're still tutorializing a bit. God, it's cool playing this again, man. All right, what's this? Give me this rare shit. Cool. Piles of scrap can be consumed. Yeah, we know we know that dance. What are you up to? I'm playing too much Elden Ring, trying to do jump attacks. come all oh, right because I didn't have his head targeted Oops. oh yeah big heavy attack holy shit please stop killing me there we go off with his head. Exchange your defective power core. Oh, there we go. We've got a power core. Cool. So we'll just double back. So there's an, another way around through here, but that, like, you can open those double doors to double back. So we sort of have to loop around and through this facility and then come back out there. And then there's another shortcut further down through this tube there. You can sort of see what I mean. So there's like. All these shortcuts. Good to see you. And you. Yeah, it's got character. Even this weird mellow bloody cowboy music in the in the med bay, you get used to it. It's quite it's quite low key. Increase corker power. Let's go. Bang. All right? Implants. Uh what's this? Aggression amplifier, health restored by 10. Restores health when reporting, uh, doing finishing moves, right? Performing, sorry, is the word I was trying to say. And what's this one here? Increase max health, scales with core power, right? Um, it doesn't overtly say how much it scales, but it just does, right? So it's not like an ABC scaling system spelled out there. Connection to database restored. Checking database. Gear voucher detected. Yeah. Gear voucher detected. Redeem voucher. Gear voucher redeemed. Oh, yeah, give me my rhino bits. Gear assembly, right? So schematics can be crafted by holding bloody doodacky, right? So we're going to have to make them. Uh, a tick scrap. Looks like I've got enough, but I need force regulator and pneumatic helix. That's right, yeah. So you get the blueprint by um destroying certain body parts but then you have to build it so you can see there i'm gonna have to build two legs two arms a chest piece helmet 
And in order to get the pneumatic helix, for example, I have to specifically destroy and decapitate legs to collect that particular crafting ingredient that is limb specific. Fuck, it's cool, man. This game's old, you know? Well, five years? Only five years? Hmm. Maybe it came out on console before it came to PC. I can't remember. Feels like it's older than that. Um, okay, bank scrap, never. I'm not a coward. Um, I would like to level my core up though. I don't think I can afford it. Okay, that's fine. All right, so let's get out there. Let's get out there and go grab some legs. While locked on, target enemy body parts, all right? Give me your fucking legs. All right, there you go. Strike enemies to build up energy and then perform a finishing move, right? So you can... Oh, okay, so it's not stagger so much that I... How do I get the finishing move to go? There you go. Fucking hell. It's so gory, I love it. All right. Give me your leg bits. I've got Lynx schematics. Don't want them. Not interested. Hey, mate. Legs 11. Yeah, so there's this impact stagger. Doesn't look like they have a meter. Maybe we can get a thing to see it. I can't remember. But you can see as well that we have... Uh, how do I change? You can see that I've got like this electric bar at the top. Uh, we've got health, stamina, and what is mana. I can't, it's called energy, I think. And that allows you to activate certain things. See, now we don't have anything. We just have the sort of injector, which I use then, which is independent. That's just equipment. It's independent of the electricity thing, but you can do ones that once you charge enough, you can then activate uh, an ability. Right, we need more stamina. I just want to wail on these dudes. But actually, I don't know. I might, I might just go Rhino and just bloody tank it, eh? I'm not really... I'm not a sword and board guy. I'm usually really naked, two-handed, axe, fast... Heavy stagger. That's usually how I operate when I play Dark Souls games. Cool. An intact power core, you can overcharge power circuits, right? So we've got one here. It looks like you have to be a certain level. Cool. Doors open. Yeah, you gotta watch for ambushes. Yeah, I'm just gonna wail heavies on this bloke. I really should let my stamina charge, but bugger him. I seem to be staggering him just fine. Do I have a flashlight? I can't remember. No. I'm trying to... Oh man, it's all coming back to me. There's a guy through partying me there. So you can instant heal without losing momentum. So that's pretty handy. Oh, let's do that again. I'm only cutting off legs at the moment because I just want to... Acquired wrecked Lynx gear leg seven. Cool. I should have taken note of what I needed. Um, oh, okay. And you can see, well, you can't see it now, but when I do get those souls, it levels up. 
Now, this door's locked, and this needs a higher gear level, basically, to open. This smells like an ambush, doesn't it? Well, maybe not. Okay. Dude, this is... It's cool to be playing this again. Oh, here we go. Audio log. Oh, no. Not Chevy. There you go. There's a shortcut there. She's right. I've seen the data. We've got to keep working. Now more than ever. Now more than ever. Give up. She's not one of them. And... Alright. Now. I'm going to have to craft these. I can craft the links. Here we go, we can craft the Rhino. Uh, construct. Yep, cool. Give me another one. I want another one, I don't have enough souls. Hang on, I might be able to... Consumables. There you go, that should probably put me maybe over the line. He's got legs. There we go. So let's put right leg. Oh, hang on. I've already got one. I must have picked it up or something. Okay, whatever. I don't have a high enough gear score. Destroy? Let's see what happens here. I got scrap back. Okay, cool. So we need to up uh, our power consumption. So that's one of those uh, things that um, you can see that my core is going to get taken up by both armor and slotted abilities. So you can kind of run light with a heavy ability set, or you can just go beefcake armor and then maybe not have big abilities. Like, they are examples of basic builds, right? Um, let's see if we can level up our call. Oh, yeah. That's probably going to do it, to be honest. There we go, look at that. Ooh. Oh, but I want it. Now, um, there should be gear set bonuses, but uh, I'm trying to remember. Stamina con consumption. So you can see you use more stamina wearing this, but you have much higher stability, so it's harder to stagger. Um, yeah, so you can get set bonuses. It's just not super obvious to me where that is. Okay. And there we go. Look at this. Look at that. Customize your arms and legs and that. Anyway, that gives you an idea of the search. It's it's a great game, right? Um, it's obviously clunky because it's got that intentional weight behind it, right? Anyone who's played Souls, you understand what I mean. Even if Souls can be... How do you, how do you put it? Right? Not that I'm the expert on Souls likes, but I play pretty much all of them. But the thing is that they're deliberate, right? A lot of the times you're gonna die because you made the wrong attack at the wrong time, and in that split second before the enemy punishes for you, if you're honest with yourself, you go, that's my fault. I shouldn't have done that. And this game's got the same thing, right? It's clunky sort of mechs, and um, basically, yeah, you, you do the wrong dodge or you misjudge your uh, iframe timer or you swing at the wrong moment and the enemy will punish you for it. Anyway, this is this is cool, to be honest. I just remember the surge being awesome um, and I didn't give it much thought. I was like, it's on sale, I'm going to cover it. But just having all the body part stuff, dis tactical dismembering of arms and legs, avoiding armor if you want to do more soft damage, aiming for armor if you want to farm parts, um, and then all the set bonuses and the different weapons, that sort of stuff. There's so much cool stuff going on with this game. Um, and yeah, my hope is that I've brought this to your attention if you didn't know about it. And go get it. It should be it should be on special still when this video goes up. You know, team, you might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.